about to make myself some lunch right now. I love olives. I ran out of lettuce, so this is gonna be a lettuce-free sandwich. organize my closets. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but never got around to it. I even wrote down goals that I have for this closet organization process. And I just have really simple goals. My first goal is to kind of take stock of what I have, make sure that I know what I have because a lot of it is hidden or tucked away in drawers that I don't even know what's in there. And I always have to go digging for them. I have like a little denim collection and I wanna know what are skinny jeans, what are flare jeans. If I even have those anymore, I don't even know. I might've given them away last time I did this. What are straight leg? Well, I guess those were kind of two goals, like one, and then one A goal. <laughs> Two, I wanna be able to donate things that I don't want anymore, that I just can't see myself wearing, or things that just don't fit me very well, things that I thought I could make work but actually don't work. Um, so either donate them or um, pass them on to people in my family who would really appreciate them. So I'm not working under a lot of pressure as long as I can get a little bit of those done today then i am i'm good i do have two closets it's kind of separated like this i just have this bag hanging here it's a bag that i thrifted recently and i didn't have anywhere to put it so i just hung it on this door but let's open this up so all of my denim is pretty much up here and I have a bunch of jeans that are in my laundry basket that I wear often. And then I have some pants here that I used to wear pretty often um, that I just stuck up here so I could grab it easily. Um, since it's been summer, I haven't really gravitated towards any of these because these are very fall. Then I just have some random towels there. And then we'll come down to my hanged clothes section. Um, so they're kind of categorized by tank tops, short sleeves, long sleeves, denim, and then I have my long dresses and rompers and stuff here then let's move down here where i have this little three by three cubed shelf um this shelf has served me many purposes over the last couple years but right now it's kind of my storage for different sweaters this is where my lazy sweaters usually go i don't remember what this basket used to hold <laughs> back at my last place. This is pretty much just clothes that I know I wanna donate already and then just some random socks that I got from Target and tank tops and stuff. And then we'll move over to this section, which isn't very exciting to be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, I have this like bottle of shout for when I do laundry, I'm almost out. This helps get rid of stains. I love using this on white clothes. You just give it a spray before you toss it in the laundry and it just helps remove stains, especially like oil stains. This is really great for that. And then I have this little divider thingy, this little storage thing. I don't remember where I got this. I think it was just from Target or something. Here I just have some bed sheets, extra bed sheets um, for when people come over and well, when people used to come over and stay over, um, I pull these out because they're super clean. Then I have these little loose towels, hair towels, face towels, whatever that I just keep in here. I just have a bunch of my hats, caps, bucket hats, like large headbands, whatever. My swimsuit top, I have a pair of random goggles. And then down here, I have my swimsuit bottoms. They used to be nicely stacked and layered. And then down here, we have the bodysuits, one pieces. Now let's go to this closet. <laughs> Don't mind that. This closet is kind of like a junk closet. Let me give you a little tour. So on the top shelf, I have different bags. Over here, I just have some makeup bags, different things um, for storing makeup, like when I go travel and stuff like that. Down here, we have all of my <laughs> jackets. Because I also have these thicker jackets over here. So these are jackets that I really don't pull out unless it's like snowing. So the rest of the closet space in here is so messy. This is just what I have to deal with. I'm not even gonna try and clean that up. This is a shelf that I need to clean and organize because Oh, okay, I'll show you. So if you pull it out, there is just a bunch of makeup 
in here. When Hannah came to visit me last year, she helped me organize all of my makeup and categorize them. So each box has something different. Like I think this is for eye products, face products, bronzers, blushes. I, I don't remember, but this is just extra storage. I didn't want it out in the open in the rest of the apartment. So I kind of just tuck it away in here. We have more makeup stuff, more makeup drawers. And then this is just random stuff. But this is like a foldable bed that uh, people sleep on when they come over. So along with those two closets, I actually have this dresser. Like, please ignore my random lashes. But um, this drawer has my bras, my underwear and stuff. This one has just socks, belts, random things. And then these drawers, it's packed to the brim. These are different kinds of pants. And then down here, it's really messy. But I have different types of tank tops and more short sleeve tops that just didn't seem worth hanging. This one has skirts and shorts and then this last one which i can't really get to because cody's like right here i have my longer sleeve tops these are less likely to wrinkle so i don't need to hang them up i guess we can start cleaning now okay so let's do the jeans first i'm going to take them all out of my closet toss them on my bed and just see what i have going on I didn't even know I had these. These are so cute. These are from Boyish. They, these are straight leg jeans, so they'll go in the straight leg pile. Where did I get these? I know baggy jeans are in style right now and skinny jeans are kind of out. I don't know. I feel like I just can't get rid of my skinny jeans. I still love them. I don't gravitate towards them as much as I used to because they are super tight and not as comfortable, but I still love that that look of them. So I'm definitely keeping my skinny jeans still. You just never know. It'll probably come back in style. And I also love the like skinny jean look, but with an oversized sweater or oversized top. Like it's just a really casual, relaxed fit. Here's another pair of black skinny jeans. Third pair of black skinny jeans. But I love these ones because of the button closure on top. I got these in Hong Kong. I feel like the quality, like it's a very stiff, material not my favorite but i do love this the button closure and the design on the waist then i have these baggy jeans well these are from like pack sun <laughs> i don't even know how old these are these are really really old i think i'm still going to keep these these are a goldie denims why have i not worn these hold on i need to see if this will still fit these are so cute and these are super soft they're so comfy I think I'm going to wear these for the rest of the day. I love these jeans. I love this little back opening. <sighs> what is this? Like my fourth pair? Yep. This is my fourth pair of black skinny jeans. Fifth pair of black skinnies. But these are actually like a different fabric. It's not denim. I just love these pants because they're more of like a professional, like more formal, clean looking pants. These used to be like my interview pants in college. <laughs> That's how long I've had these for. And these I got from like Forever 21. These are from Pomelo. They're not my favorite pair of jeans, to be honest. They have some paint splatter marks here, like part of the design, not because I painted and splattered on them. They don't like flatter my body as well. These are one of my favorite pair of pants. These are also from Pomelo. I need a really tight belt for these pants because they are a little bit big on me. Pomelo sizes, like they do run large. Then I have these light blue straight leg pants from Style Nanda. I love these, I'm not giving this up. Then I have a couple of white jeans. So these are some white baggy jeans. These I got from Zara. They have this like patchwork detail here, not a favorite. I remember getting these because I wanted white jeans and these are the only ones I could find on sale that seemed to fit me. I'm gonna keep those just in case I ever wanna have like a white jean moment. And then I have these. These are actually a little cream colored. It's not white white. Do you see like the slight difference? These are from Boyish and they have a, what are these called? Ragged hem, I forgot, but these are also really cute with all of my boys jeans they have the this button closure instead of a zipper which hmm i actually haven't decided if i like or don't like because it's just so much work every time i have to go to the bathroom <laughs> these are pretty cute too okay so i've done a rough categorization of each of these jeans so i'm just gonna fold these real quick and then put them back in the closet I'm 
short. Fold these really quickly. I decided to fold all the towels that were here along with the sheets that were in this cubby and just put them in the basket up here because I don't grab these very often. Either they're like guest towels or I'm switching out bath towels or something like that. This is perfect, it fits really well. I still have space up here. I don't really know what to do next. I'm kind of avoiding sorting through all of this. Um, I think I want to do that last. I feel like this is the section that's going to be the hardest for me to get through because I'm just I'm just gonna wanna keep everything. So I'm gonna go through the easy stuff first, like things where I feel like I could be a bit more decisive. I think I'm gonna go through my graphic tees first. Um, these are things that I've gotten free at events or for volunteering or things that just aren't really comfortable anymore that ha have kind of a rough material. I used to wear these just like being lazy around the house. Recently, I've been feeling that I should invest more in my loungewear pieces, um, especially like my pajamas, because I wanna be comfy when I go to sleep. I used to be able to wear whatever baggy t-shirt and a pair of sweats, even if they were pilling, but now I want to invest in just um, loungewear and pajamas that have a nicer, softer feeling so that when I sleep, like, it just feels that much more nicer and elevated and I feel like it does all kind of tie in together um, with, into a good night's rest. Wow. For some reason, I just feel so much more like winded when I talk now or when I'm just like doing things. <laughs> I need to start working out because I haven't talked to anyone like at home in such a long time that now I get exhausted. Is that sad? That's really sad. I feel pathetic. <laughs> My graphic tees, uh, most of them are here in this pile. I'm gonna create two piles, one to keep, one to give away. Look at this though. I used to watch the Warriors play religiously and I would not miss a game. I just loved it so much and I would go to like a bunch of NBA games, Warriors games, let's make that clear. <laughs> um, I haven't even been to a basketball game in LA yet. This is actually really soft and I'm going to keep this for the nostalgia. And maybe one day, you know, if I get back into watching basketball again, I can pull this out. Basketball is one of my favorite sports to watch. I think it's so fun because it's so much more fast paced. Now I'm just going through and folding all of my sweaters to make sure that they're nice and neat. I feel like I should be doing this more frequently so I don't have to do a massive overhaul of cleaning, but it is what it is. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell any of my clothes. I feel like I know a good amount of people who could take my clothes and would appreciate them, so I never really think about selling it. And my mom, like, I think she has large extended family or friends in Vietnam. So she's always like, if there's anything you don't want, save it, give it to me, bring it home, and I will send it off to my family, my friends in Vietnam. I've decided to get rid of some caps and berets, beanies. I'm realizing that I don't really wear those that often. I'm keeping at this San Jose Sharks um, hockey hat just because, you know, San Jose is my home and I want something that represents it and I figure it'd be nice to have one um, baseball cap like this when I go hiking. I'm also keeping this newspaper boy cap just because I, I feel like it would come back in style at some point and it's like fall, winter soon so I think it'd be cute to keep this. I'm also keeping all of these different berets. I'm keeping this little leathery beret. I put it on but like my butterfly clip is in the way. This one I got from, I think I got from Yes Style. I'm keeping this one. I'm also gonna keep this one that I got from Stussy when I was in Japan just because of the memories and I don't know, it's just like cool and nice to have. And I also think I paid quite a bit of money for this, so I'm keeping that one. And then I'm keeping this leopard print one because I just feel like it's really posh and you never know when the occasion calls for a leopard print beret. I'm keeping these two bucket hats because I think they are really cool and edgy. I want to keep these for days when I want to play up that kind of style. Um, so I have this leopard print one and the zebra print one. I haven't even been able to wear this yet. I so now we're going to do the thing that I just have not been looking forward to which is the shirts that are hung up. I feel like I should share how I've been deciding what to keep and what to donate and I think it's pretty much just can I see myself wearing this within the next year at some point throughout the different seasons? Can I DIY this or wear this in a different way that I haven't worn before? Because you just never know if you can wear a sweater a different way, if you can use it for layering or whatever. This is really wrinkly, but this is a really great um, styling piece for layering. This is from Cause and it is just 
pretty much a collar. This is great for styling if you want to have that collared look but you don't want an actual extra layer because it might just be too hot that day or too hot underneath your sweater definitely invest in something like this it just makes it so much easier to layer it's like the perfect material too because it's stiff so it's not going to move around too much but when you layer pieces like that i feel like you need something more stiff and not too flimsy because i have a few collared shirts that are very soft and flimsy um, but they just don't look as good they don't look as like put together and pristine if you have an old button up laying around you can just cut the collar off of that one but this just makes it so much easier okay it doesn't look that different i wasn't really expecting it to I might come back to this later, but I do like that this side is a bit more organized. It looks a little bit cleaner. At least, you know, that's good. The shelves look cleaner as well. I think now I want to tackle the stuff in here. break i'm getting hungry so i'm gonna eat some of my leftover pasta i just heated up i think after i finish the dressers i will go to my coats and jackets and do one last look and then uh, pack everything up and then i'll probably cook dinner because this pasta is definitely not enough for later i get uh, very emotional a lot of times and people would ask me I'm pretty much done. I just finished going through all of my jackets and picked out the ones that I wanted to give away. It doesn't look like it's changed very much, but I picked out about six jackets. Kept a lot of these, actually. I thought I would be giving a lot of these white jackets away, but some of these have really cute textures that I think would look great for winter time especially around the holidays it just adds like a little bit of glam to any outfit sorry i didn't vlog that process i just really wanted to finish it's about seven right now and i want to start cooking dinner i think i did as good of a job as i could i have these two bags right here to donate so this bag is very specific for people in my family that i think would fit them that they would really like and then they can look through this bag for things that um you know in case they want it yeah two bags of clothes not bad in my opinion i'm gonna start cooking dinner now but i actually don't know what to eat so i think i'm gonna make these noodles if you remember from my old vlogs i used to go to this restaurant called hungary kalguksu and they had these amazing korean noodles um i have not been there all year so um i actually picked up some ingredients last time to make noodles that are somewhat similar to that so i have these noodles these are actually Taiwanese noodles and they are so yummy. They soak up the flavor so well and they're chewy. They're the best. Um, I used to get these for Hot Pot. Um, they come in a pretty big package so um, when I brought them home, I just separated them into little Ziploc bags. I have some frozen seafood thingies that I could just toss in there and some scallops. Um, but I also have some tomatoes and onions and carrots which I can also add into the... Uh, noodles oh i have dumplings oh that's perfect there's like five dumplings in here and then i'm gonna make some of this pancake because i don't have any veggies left and maybe this will make up for it i always want a side dish of veggies with my dinner whether it's like broccoli or green beans lately it's been a salad these are the korean um, red pepper powder flakes that i use for most of the sauce you also need like chicken bouillon or something um i have the recipe on my ipad so i'm just gonna follow that i just mixed some chicken bouillon with the water this is the shortcut chicken stock
just gonna eat on my couch and watch this movie that Chris told me to watch and hopefully I won't be completely depressed by it. Public health officials discuss the US government's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It's actually so late now. I stayed up a little bit to edit and now I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm so tired. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Good night, bye.